everybody. Welcome back to CC and Lulu. Today we're going to have a fun American Girl style craft. We're going to be making this cute little desk and bench set. Now you need quite a few supplies for this. The first thing you need is the desktop. And I get these plaques at Hobby Lobby. They're only $1.99. So that's really affordable. And then you're going to need paint and a brush. My favorite is this apple barrel paint. I get it at Walmart. I haven't been able to find it lately because of this pandemic going on, but you could probably get it online. This is fuchsia. And I use this little sponge brush. And then you need a can of clear enamel spray. Then you'll also need a box. I get these boxes at the Dollar Tree. They're just a dollar and you're kind of at the mercy of what they have, but you don't want anything enormous, of course, but you don't want anything really dinky either. So this is like perfect for this. Um, this is kind of rectangle, this one's kind of square. And then according to what your box is, you're gonna pick a fabric and then you'll need roughly 20 inches of ribbon to put around the edge. This is a grow grain kind of pleated ribbon. You'll need some fiber fill filling for like a pillow. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at the um, Joanne Fabrics. And then you're also going to need these two letter A's. Now, see, these are a good half inch thick. That's what you want. You don't want the real skinny type. So these are, I think, six inches in height. And you can get these at Joanne Fabrics. And uh, they're perfect to be the legs of your desk. And the last thing you need are three different glues. Now the glues are really important. I have experimented with a bunch of different glues to glue the legs on the, on the uh, desktop. Uh, the first one is this E6000. The next, I had this all taped up because I couldn't get the glue out, but it's Loctite. Loctite Extra Grab or Super Grab or something like that. And then your trusty glue gun. So. The first thing you're gonna do is take this top and you're gonna get it kind of damp. Uh, maybe do it even the night before you're gonna do this craft. Get use a wet washcloth or just run it lightly under some water because that will bring the grain out in the wood and then you can sand it when it dries. If you don't do that and you just put the first coat of paint on here, then the grain's gonna come out and you'll have to sand it with the paint on. So uh, I really recommend you do that, but let it dry thoroughly before you do paint it. I need my trusty glasses. Now, when you're going to paint these, always make sure you have something to keep it clean, your table clean. And then I use these two little kids cups from when Lulu was small. <laughs> and I just put it on like that and I paint the whole top around. When that dries, I flip it over and do the bottom. Then when that dries, I flip it over and I do two coats on each side. Then when that's totally dry, I take it outside and set it on like a cardboard box or something and use this enamel spray. So when I go to spray the clear acrylic, I, when I spray the top, I also get the edges. And then when that's drying, I turn it over and I spray the bottom, but I also get the edges because the edges are where it tends to be a little bit rougher and stuff. So that just gives it an extra little coating. Okay, next, we're going to glue on the legs. Okay, so our first glue that we will use is our Loctite. It's white and real pasty, but it does Loctite. You just put a little line across and then wipe off the excess. We're gonna put another, after this totally dries, we're gonna put another coat on of the uh, E6000. Doing this, it kind of pushes it in under the crack of the leg. There, there's leg number one. And you wanna make sure that it's sitting very square. 
next one. Now I let this dry all day or for hours anyhow, before I put my next coating on. We have some special sound effects today <laughs> from yours truly. <laughs> Hi, Parker. You eating a graham cracker? Oh. <laughs> You're going to be quiet so we can film? You say hi, everybody? All right. I got both on. I made sure that they're very square. They're not tipping in or out at all because then these won't, uh, the desk won't stand straight. It will be flimsy or rocking. So I'm going to let this dry for a while and then I'll show you how to put the next glue on. So in the meantime, Let's make our bench. Okay, so when you're picking your box, you want it to be roughly three inches high. If it's more than that, what I do is I cut down in the corners, not a lot, and, and just take my scissors and trim it down a little bit so that it'll be the right height. Okay, so now to start with the top part, this, see how it's cushy, like a regular bench is? Okay, and you're gonna kinda want this Take your glue gun now. If you're a child and you're not allowed to use glue guns, have your mom or somebody help you with this. Just put some glue along the top on one side. Put this on. This is just to hold it tight while you're covering it with the fabric. And you're gonna work around the top. Side three. Okay, so we're going to cut this just two inches bigger around all the sides. Now, if you don't feel comfortable eyeballing it, by all means, just go ahead and use a pencil and mark it out. Now, this part's a little tricky and finicky. It's the corners, really. So what I'm going to do is tuck this in. I'm going to glue this side. So I'm tucking all the stuffing in here and rolling this down onto the fabric tight. Hold down tight using some glue. And folding this over. Press so that you've got a good latch on there. Now we're going to do the opposite side. Don't work around that way. It doesn't work very well. I'm going to do the opposite. Took all this stuff in so you can get on this clean edge of the lid. And then you want to push it like that so that you're getting a taut. And I'm holding firmly. I'm going to put glue in here. I've got a firm hold on this to hold the fabric. Kind of pull and glue. See how that pulling it firmly gives it just that smooth look. Okay, the ends are the tricky part. You wanna make sure you get this tucked in here like on the other sides, the stuffing. And we're gonna wrap it like a package. I'm gonna put some glue along here. And I'm gonna glue this down. Now it doesn't matter how pretty this underneath is because nobody's gonna see it. So if it's lumpy, that's okay because we're gonna end up gluing this lid on that box. So all that matters is what you see on the outside. I'm gonna wrap the end like a present, if it will do it. Oh, 
Okay, now we're gonna hold that down firmly so it doesn't slip. And fold this in. It's like wrapping a gift. Pull it taut. Okay, next side. Parker's enjoying this too, as you can hear. Okay. Pushing down firmly. You don't want to break the box, but you want to keep it from sliding all around. And pull so you get that taut fabric. Now, we've got that covered. Next, we're going to glue this on just by putting some hot glue all around here. Now, you shouldn't do this if you're a kid without an adult help helping you. However, if you have no adult to help you, then get use some of the glue that you have to uh, put the legs on the desk. That you'll have to let it dry a lot longer, but that's okay. You wanna be safe. Okay, now that's latched on there tightly. Now we've got our ribbon here. I just do not want to be quiet. I'm teething, yes? <laughs> You're going to laugh now? You're so cute. You're a silly boy. You're a silly boy. Parker. Hi. You have a teether in? <laughs> you making lots of noises? Yeah. So now we're going to glue the ribbon on here. Take your glue gun. You want to get up close to the end, to the, or to the top edge, just a little at a time. Just press along that top edge so that it's stuck down well. And I'm pulling a little taut on the ribbon so that it's so that it's not bunching up at the corners or anything. Depending on the size of your box, it'll take between 18 and 20 inches of the ribbon. Before I glue this last bit down, I'm going to trim this. Now you want to leave about an inch overlap. because what we're gonna do is tuck this under because we don't really want this raw edge and it frays. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue along here. I'm gonna fold this over. Okay, now we'll finish gluing. See how nice that edge is now? And not, this is underneath, so that won't matter. Just want to do it on the edge that'll show. And then see how that's going to overlap, just about a half inch. Push the top down in the corner. That look nice. Now I'm going to put a little glue under here. Just to Hold this down. Now it looks like this, if you go around the top and you have some gaps that didn't get the glue, just kind of tuck the glue gun in there and put a little bit. But you want to make sure it's sealed well so it doesn't pull off. See what I mean here? I have a few little open gaps. I'm going to put some glue in there. You want to be careful it doesn't squirt out onto the cushion so much. Now, I'm going to lift this up and put a little glue here just to hold this 
down. It's a little firmer. And on all four sides. Okay, so there we have our little bench. So this is a square one. So you can make them, use your imagination and pick the fabric you like. And the box, you kind of have to go with what they've got at the dollar store. Um, sometimes they have perfect ones, sometimes not so much, and I wait to go to the next month or whatever. But when I find ones that I know will work, I'll buy like 10 of them because we do sell these on our at our Etsy shop. And uh, this is our uh, number one seller on our shop. People just love these. Okay, so now this is dry. And so I am going to use my E6000, and this is a clear, it's not white, it's a, it's runnier. Now what the object of this is, you wanna kinda of get it up around the top, this part of the leg, not just at the bottom. You want it to kind of go up like that and it will uh, support it better. Really keep it down in there. So you're gonna just, I'm going up kind of on the, actual A right on the side because it's going to run down and it will kind of fall. Now you want to let this dry for a long time too. This almost dries a little rubbery. And I'll do the other leg. See how I'm kind of getting it right up on the desk. It's running enough that it will run down to the base. But this way it's ensuring that it's gonna be on the leg as well as on the desk. As you can see, it takes a bit of glue because you wanna make sure that this is sturdy. Now, when I sell these, I always have a little note tied on there saying, Please do not sit or stand on me or I will break. I'm only intended for use with your dolls. So you wanna make sure that whoever you are making this for that you uh, explain that to them. Now this I'm gonna let dry for a long time as well, preferably overnight. So there you have it. That's what it takes to make the desk and the bench to go with it. I'm not gonna turn this up because the glue is still oozing. But um, it's fun to do and it turns out so cute. The doll looks adorable sitting at this desk. So maybe check out our Etsy shop, CC and Lulu. Um, we'll leave a link to it down in the information box. We have a lot of American Girl doll stuff on there. Uh, the whole um, shop is about American Girl doll accessories and furniture and things. So thanks so much for tuning in. It's been fun. I hope you learned something and I hope you get creative and make your own desk. You can paint them. If you don't like pink, you can make them purple. You can make it uh, teal or blue, whatever you wanna do, make it your own. Love you guys, bye.